And welcome to the city of Colorado Springs Garden of the Gods Park as you see beautifully displayed behind me here. Garden of the Gods Park is known for its fantastic geology and in fact we probably wouldn't be a city park without these spectacular rock formations behind me. So I thought we'd take some time get to know them a little bit better. All the rocks naturally formed in Garden of the Gods are sedimentary rocks. And sedimentary is a fancy word, it just means layers of sediment. So it's going to be your sandstones, conglomerates, muds. All of those will compact to form different rock layers. These rock layers were all formed horizontally in their various environments. And then Pikes Peak came along and kind of pushed them out of the way. As you see, Pikes Peak looms majestically in the distance behind me. Our first rock layer, or our oldest rock layer in the park, is about 300 million years old, and it is the Fountain Formation. The Fountain Formation is a conglomerate, does have some sandstones in it, but as you see, it's a chunky monkey granola bar rock. Different sizes of sediment or dirt is in that rock, and you can see them really well in this example here. Balanced Rock at the south end of our park is an example of the Fountain Formation. Moving forward in time, we now are at the Lion's Formation. And this is a sandstone, comes in two different colors, and that's what you're seeing so spectacularly and beautifully behind me. We have our red member, and then there's also a lighter or a gray member. So gray rock is over here, and the rock with kissing camels is behind me. Sandstone, so very fine grain sand. And the red has iron in it, whereas the white does not. Moving forward in time again, we are now at our Triassic Formation, or the Lichens Formation, approximately 255 million years old. The Lichens Formation was a shallow sea environment, or a tidal environment, and that, so therefore we have dolomite and limestone and a little bit of sandstone. This is exa an example of our Lichens Formation. And these crinkly lines are actually a fossil. This is a very primitive fossil, oldest one in our park. It's called a stromatolite. And it's an algae and bacteria that once again formed in that tidal environment. Our next formation should be right here, and that is the Jurassic Morrison Formation. The Morrison Formation, very famous throughout Colorado for its dinosaurs. Unfortunately here, we just have a very shallow lake deposit, a little bit of um, stream, and so we only, we have a very erodible or crumbly shale that I don't have an example of, but we do have the Morrison formation here. Cretaceous example is our Dakota sandstone, another sandstone. This one formed in a beach environment, and you can see we've got some trace fossils here, that's what all those relief is and all and the squiggly lines we don't know what creature made this but this is an example of our Dakota formation the Dakota formation likes to make hogbacks and you can see some or fins you can see some just to my left over here on the horizon those very thin outcrops are what we call hogbacks our next layer in the park is going to be the Benton group the Benton group formed as the Cretaceous Seaway Colorado. So it's mostly a shale. And shale is a mudstone. It's very crumbly, very erodible, and very delicate. So here you've got an example of our shale. And you can see how thin that is and how delicate it is. And yep, if I just look at it too strongly, it's going to start breaking. So that's our Benton group, our shale. The Cretaceous Seaway has fully come into Colorado now for our Niobrara Formation. And this layer is about 80, 88 million years old. It was a shallow sea. We do have a very nice clam fossil right here that you can see. And it's that very distinct chalky white formation of the Niobrara. One of our last formations that we have in the park is going to be the Pier Shale. And the Pier Shale is a deep ocean sediment. So shales, uh, mudstones, and some fossils. This is an example of a fossil that was found in the Pier 
Trail right here in our parking lot. In 2015, the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center was remodeled and a construction worker was digging in our parking lot and this little fossil popped up fully formed just like this. This hasn't been treated at all. And the worker was nice enough to come in and said, I think someone dropped this. We knew he had found a fossil. This is an ammonite. The opening is gonna be here. An ammonite is a round kind of snail shell and it will have a squid face coming out of it. And those creatures, ammonites, went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period with the dinosaurs. Our final layer that we have in the park is a formation kind of in the making. It's called the Mesa Gravels. And this is just an example of what you'll see when you look at the Mesa Gravels. These forms on, this forms on hilltops throughout the park. And it's a very reddish color and has come from glaciers. So as regional glaciers moved down through Pikes Peak, they helped form the landscape. But as they would freeze, they would pick up rocks. And as they would thaw, the glaciers would drop the rocks. So we have a very loose, kind of badly sorted example of Mesa Gravels. And this is just a random example of what you'll see on some of our hilltops throughout Colorado. Throughout Colorado Springs. And finally, no talk on geology with Garden of the Gods would be complete without at least mentioning our beautiful mountain to the west, Pikes Peak, America's Mountain. She is over 14,000 feet high and she is made entirely of Pikes Peak granite. Pikes Peak was never a volcano. Pikes Peak granite is this very distinct, pretty pinkish color or reddish color that comes, the red or pink comes from potassium feldspar. The clear or white color is smoky quartz, or just quartz. And then that brassy kind of blackish little flex in there is mica or biotite. So this is what the entire mountain is made out of. Thank you so much for tuning in today and talking about Garden of the Gods geology. It rocks. <laughs>